Let's take a moment and change the illumination and theme settings on the AVIC 8000 next. To get there, we're just going to touch the uh, gear button, and we're going to go to the palette menu here. And we have a number of things to choose from here, background, illumination, theme, clock, and splash screen settings. And we have an export button up here that we'll talk about in a minute. Let's start off with illumination. And illumination are the hard keys across the bottom here. And we have a number of different preset colors to choose from. If I go to this last one on the end, this will scan through all of the available colors continuously. If I touch this one with the gears, I can make some adjustments to uh, different colors. Or I can drag this slider bar to a different color wherever I want, or I can use the arrows here to make a very fine adjustment to the color. Once I've chosen a color, I can use the slider bar here to make the color a little darker or a little bit lighter. Once I've chosen a color that I like, I can kind of make it a preset by touching the memo button here and pressing and holding for a couple seconds. Now if I make some changes, I can go back to that preset color that I liked by touching memo. We'll go back up here and I'm going to go back to my red illumination that I like. Next up is my uh, theme settings. And with my theme settings, I like to point out that we have a home uh, button up here and we have an AV button and those changes uh, will, will apply to both home and AV. So with the themes, I have uh, kind of global changes to the colors in the system. And I have a number of the kind of presets to choose from. So we'll go back here, choose this one. Next we'll change our background. Now with the background, again, I can choose a background for my home screen, which will make it this one here. And then I can choose a background to my AV screen as well. And I have a number of preset images to choose from. And if I want, I have some motion images that I can choose from as well. Here I have options to add in my own images uh, from an SD card or from a USB. So I have the mountain with a magnifying glass here and I kind of have the same image with a line through it here. Um, if I choose an image here, I'll touch this and I'll choose my SD card to select an image. I can choose an image here. So that image will be saved as my background image. You can see it, it appears here as well. So once I've made the changes that I like, all I have to do is touch the apply button to make those changes. I can even change my clock settings here. And this isn't changing the time on the clock, but the way the clock looks. If I want to, I can choose to switch the clock completely off and use another clock in the vehicle. We'll choose this clock setting. 